A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. May the peace of Allah be upon the Prophet, his companions, his household, and the Muslim Ummah till the end of time. My name is Rahmat Adetitu Adisa, your anchor for the episode of Eternal Bliss today. Eternal Bliss is a program packaged by Nosirila Elifati Society. It is meant to illuminate your heart and give you the best of knowledge of Islam. Today on the program, we are focusing on one of the subsidiaries of Nosirila Elifati Society, one of the universities that is fast growing in, Niger in Nigeria, that has endeared itself to the students, parents, and the populace. Within the 14 years of its establishment, it has developed from two faculties to many and has, and has produced um, products that have greatly impacted the society. With me in the studio, I have the man at the helm of affairs of Fountain University. I'm talking about the vice chancellor of Fountain University in person of Professor Amidu. Sonny. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sir. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you very much. It's indeed my pleasure to have you with me in the studio today. Thank you very much. Please, can you share the vision and mission of Fountain University with us? Well, the underlying vision of the university and the mission, as encapsulated in the philosophy of the founders, is that it's supposed, the vision is to be a pace setting institution. Uh, which offers academics, character building, and of course, development of human capacity. So this is the vision of, uh, the, of, the, of, the, of the funders. With regards to the mission, the mission is in tandem with the universal philosophy of producing graduates uh, with good religious inspiration, with good morals, with good characters, who can compete favorably with others from across the globe. So this is our mission. And of course, we've also added the aspect of God consciousness and of course, service to humanity to the mission of uh, this university. Hi. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Any good citadel of learning would of course want to build the um, student's character mm. morally and uh, spiritually. academically and spiritually. Yeah. Spiritually, you have had it because um, Fountain University is a faith-oriented or inspired uh, university. Yes, You're right. So like any other university, sir, I acknowledge that you would have teaching problems. Please, can you share the journey so far for the university with well, us? Well, the university was licensed in 2007 by the federal government through the NUC, and academic activity started in 2008 so with two colleges, College of uh, uh, Management and uh, Social Sciences and colleges, uh, College of Natural and Applied Sciences with 12 programs. Of, of, but at the moment, so of course, those courses included microbiology, accounting, uh, political science, sociology, mass comm, which is one of our flagship programs, and uh, micro, uh, biochemistry and nutrition, among others. But recently, precisely some few, five months ago, we had the honor of having additional two colleges, the College of Law and the College of Basic, and, uh, Basic Medical and Health Sciences. And I want to uh, focus on those two for now. Our own College of Law is going to be unique in the Nigerian legal system in the sense that already we have a working agreement with the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom to develop aspects of Islamic finance and Islamic law, which is, again, we also have the singular license of developing a degree solely in Islamic law and also degree in common law and again combination of both. And in this regard, we've had uh, donations of big library donations from the Arab government, uh, the Arab world government, Islamic government, Egypt to be precise, and Morocco to be precise. So apart from the fact that our library collection had been enriched by people who are not even Muslims, who had contributed uh, law reports uh, of Nigeria and several other places. So these are flagship programs now. And for the College of uh, Medical and Health Sciences, our nursing, we have nursing at the moment. We also have medical lab sciences. We also have uh, public health, uh, medical lab sciences, 
and of course environmental sciences. All these programs that I've just mentioned with collaboration with non-Nigerian universities, and I will explain that later on. Thirteen years in the journey and still counting thousands of products from different fields across industries produced in a serene and conducive environment. Here, there is a connection that makes people move and think differently. Where the all-nighters, the knowledge seekers, and the go-getters gather. Who are we? We are a family born by a common idea that is changing the world. We are Fountain University. We lead and others follow. And room now for 2020-2021 graduate and postgraduate admissions into College of Natural and Applied Sciences, College of Management and Social Sciences, as well as College of Basic Medical Health Sciences and College of Law through UTFE, MBAIS, JUPEP, and Direct Entry. For further inquiries, visit www.fuo.edu.ng or call 0803-114-5929 or 0803-706-3960. Fountain University. Faith, Faith knowledge, and, and service. service. In my thinking, um, getting approval for the faculty or for College of Basic Medical Sciences is uh, a premonition into the future, into actually establishing a College of Medicine. Yeah. Am I right, sir? Uh, yeah, let me just say that. If I, it's a very right question. We are a, a, a teaching hospital. We are going to have a teaching hospital and also a College of Medicine. Uh, both are to be financed by the Islamic Development Bank. Shut we have up. worked very far along that line. So, and it's going to serve not only the Oshun community, it's going to be unique because all the equipment. As a matter of fact, we have at the moment a working agreement with the Duke University in North Carolina in the United States in a program called Duke Engage. So the medical student or their student, another program will come to, to our university, work over a semester in uh, local hospitals or health facilities, and that also give our own students as well the same opportunity to go there for the same number of time and period, and all the courses taken there will also count for them here. So this is the first we are going to have that in Nigeria, where you can have that kind of uh, exchange. And the second part of that is also the Islamic University in Uganda, which is also a university funded by the uh, OIC. It's also working with us along that line uh, to have that kind of staff-student exchange in the medical field. So all our new programs now are going to be both local and international. Yeah, so that's the advantage that Foundry University is going to have over any other university in Nigeria for that, for, for that, for that so matter. So would you say those reasons are some of the reasons you would think anyone will look at the opportunity or make, you, uh, make Foundry University the first choice university? In fact, there are several reasons why you want to take Fountain University as your first choice, in fact, your only choice, if that is possible. Now, you have a very stable calendar. No strike, no student uh, looter, no something, any of the or workers, something. So, that, so you know that once you come in, in a particular year, by the 14th of January of your final year, you are already out of the system. That's number one. Number two is that we have a very, very liberal school fees regime. Because it's, education is supposed to be a social service. And we know that the majority of our own parents, our society members, uh, generally, not only Muslims, even Christians, because we admit Christians and non, even if we don't have any religion, as long as you qualify. So it's a very liberal school fees regime, which you can even pay installmentally across board. So that's number two. Number three, why I want to take for is that you also have a scheme of scholar, scholarship scheme for indigent but brilliant students. So all this, well, just, and of course, I've mentioned some of the international collaborations we've had so far, which will make you think and make Fountain University your preferred choice any parent, for any parent. And besides that, it's fully residential. And many of the parents, particularly those who are outside the country, they are usually afraid of the moral aspect of their words. I mean, how do I send my child to so because we are free residential with full observance of religious and moral regulation, we, we, are, we have zero tolerance on misbehavior or uh, perverse. So parents outside Nigeria can be sure that, okay, send your child to Fountain University and leave the rest to us. And of course, for those with Muslim background, the added value is that before the end of your course, whatever your course of study, you should be able to read the Quran fluently and read Arabic fluently as part of the added value that 
any wow. person would like want to. And of course, for Christians, we allow them to go for their Sunday services, and they are closely monitored as well. And for Muslims, okay. we encourage us, the Muslims want to go to Asalatu on Sundays. So because Asala, Fountain University is a baby of uh, Nasfa, so we try to create a new generation of uh, Nasfa members after you, Mama, and Mama will have uh, <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, that's nice. Yeah. And I'm sure um, not all of them are actually from Nosfat homes. No, no. Yes. No, no. So, but it is just a way to breed new generation of exactly. uh, Muslims. Yeah. Now, the common law that you, the, the, the law faculty, the new common, okay. the, College new, of law. Uh, the new faculty of law, and then the Islamic financing that you said is part of um, the, the program. Mm -hmm that program what is the university doing to ensure because that is a new terrain even in nigeria and uh, there aren't many banks that are doing islamic banking so is there any special um, arrangement that the university is making especially in terms of uh, um, um, industrial training okay for this set of uh, of students Thank that you. are just being admitted. Mm. Well, you see, let, let me put it this way. Islamic finance, Islamic bank is just like any other product of any bank. And it will surprise you that countries that make use most of Islamic bank or Islamic financing and Western countries, UK, Canada, United States, because it's just a product that is more effective and less costly because it's interest-free. Mm, yes. So it makes it a very attractive product. Even in Nigeria, as I'm talking to you, the greatest beneficiaries of Sukuk, if you hear uh, Mr. Fashola talking of it, mm. uh, stayed from the eastern part of Nigeria, not even Sokoto, but the eastern part of Nigeria, because some of these things are, are beneficial. So what I'm trying to say is that as a product of value with less uh, encumbrances, we are going to train our students uh, to be able to operate in the MSME kind of world, so, because that is mm -hmm. where the next world is going. Yes. It's not much as but what you are studying, but what you can make your training to achieve mm -hmm. in life in terms mm -hmm. of career, in terms of innovation, in terms of uh, creativity and things like that. So that is the focus. And with the agreement and the partnership we've secured with the University of Exeter, we are going to have staff exchange. The lecturer will come here, our lecturer will also go there. And of course, some short-term courses and workshop for our students. So this is going to give us an edge, and it's going to be fully financed by them as part of our collaboration. Something. So anybody who comes to Fountain University to study law, either common law, of course, we are going to take courses in both common law and Islamic law. It's going to be comprehensive kind of thing. So it's going to give them an edge over others within the Nigeria, of course, the global education system. Thirteen years in the journey and still counting thousands of products from different fields across industries produced in a serene and conducive environment. Here, there is a connection that makes people move and think differently. Where the all-nighters, the knowledge seekers, and the go-getters gather. Who are we? We are a family born by a common idea that is changing the world. We are Fountain University. We lead and others follow. And room now for 2020-2021 graduate and postgraduate admissions into College of Natural and Applied Sciences, College of Management and Social Sciences, as well as College of Basic Medical Health Sciences and College of Law through UTFE, MBAIS, JUPEP, and Direct Entry. For further inquiries, visit www.fuo.edu.ng or call 0803-114-5929 or 0803-706-3960. Fountain University. Faith, Faith knowledge, and, and service. service. Thank you, Prof. In terms of uh, the accreditation of these new courses and the existing ones, how far have you gone? Are they all accredited? Well, let me say this is an open market now, that without having NUC approval, it's not only illegal, but criminal for any university to run any course without the NUC position. So I can assure you that the NUC fully verified and, and approved all the new courses, particularly the law program, the basic medical something. And there's something I just all want to point out. When we came around in December, the NUC team, legal team, discovered that our law reports and journals were actually up to date, up to 2020. Wow. And that was the first time they would go for any accreditation and oh, see that really the law reports and the journals that we had were actually up to date. Oh, the yeah. same thing with our medical, about two weeks ago, the NUC came for the re-accreditation of some of our programs, eight in number. 
and they were surprised to say that in our microbiology program, for example, some of the equipment we were able to get into the laboratories, they couldn't even see them in federal universities. And that was the admission of uh, the NUC team. It's, uh, it's even in their report. So you can be sure that we are, we are a founding is a brand, <laughs> limited brand. And our products are so tailored to be that across the globe. Alhamdulillah, I can see that you are working day and night to make Fountain University a world-class university. Well done, sir. Now, talking about um, parents, parents usually um, entertain the fear of high tuition fees. And secondly, some of them are afraid of, of their children being you know, influenced negatively. Mm. So how do you allay the fears of the parents in this regard? Well, let me start with the first question of school fees. And I can tell you boldly here that our university is fully residential. And maybe to that, I can also, even you see Ramadan now, for those Muslims, they, they enjoy free feeding for both in, in, at, in Suhur, the morning food, and the after breaking of the fasting. So it's a free feeding for all students who are fasting now, at no cost to them. And of course, I want to thank all uh, uh, philanthropists and benefactors from NASFA and non-NASFA members who have actually been doing a lot to, to feed this thing. It's quite a lot of money for at the money. So that is one. So uh, uh, residential in the sense that they all are there in the hostels. And I'll come back to that because I want to make hostel now, a hostel system now, away, away from a home, away, away from, from home. home. Because our students will be our best advertisers mm. if they are reasonably accommodated. Well, comfort is relative, this time, reasonably comf uh, accommodated. So it's very reasonable. And we have the lowest school fees regime in the whole of the Southwest. And we know uh, it's for a reason. We know most parents are poor, and education we see as a social service. And that is why we've made our school fees. And I can tell you that even for our other courses, none of our courses, the ordinary ones, residential or something, it's less than half a million there about 400 some thousand, and you are even allowed to pay that instrumentally, wow. including hostel fees, including medical fees, including drug test fees, because we also have drug tests for our students twice a year, and several other things, like internet facilities 24-7. And uh, of course, the environment is very serene. So we are just trying to survive, making sure that we are able to break even. So that's why we have kept our fees very low, and of course, with the benefaction and benevolence of our founders and proprietors and other well-wishers. We're able to stay afloat, yeah. Mm, that's great. And for the parents now, yes, we, because we have zero, in fact, not even zero, no number tolerance for misbehavior. Okay. And if any student, any Nigerian student, whether in front or elsewhere, is still a Nigerian student, there will be that tendency to misbehave or to be under peer influence or peer pressure. So we try to uh, have, a, a, we have a counseling section. And if any student has a uh, challenge with drug or with misbehavior after counseling, we are trying to put in place now what we call AREP, Academic Rehabil uh, Rehabilitation Empowerment Project. We want to use this opportunity to thank the people of Iraq, which did a, a very large piece of land to us. And that project is meant to rehabilitate people with substance abuse, behavioral challenges, and allow them, empower them again. Instead of just sending them out of university, expelling them, so look, rehabilitate. And the United Nations Office on Drug, UNODC is collaborating with us, NDLEA, NAVDRAG, and some NGOs are also assisting us to help sort of give a rebirth to a student with a drug or substance abuse or behavioral problem. So we have that as well. So parents don't have any problems keeping their children or wards under yeah. our care. We can be sure that we are going to take care of them, and uh, we, even the bad ones. In fact, that's our philosophy that students with behavioral challenges or drug challenges want to pray to say, look, once you get to Fante, your problem is solved. So, that's going to be our selling point again. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we are building a mosque and Islamic complex at Asheshe along the Lagos Ibadah Express Road and we need your help to complete the construction of the mosque. The Lagos Ibadah Express Road every day has more than 300,000 vehicles. That's about 9 million vehicles passing the road on a monthly basis. 
that's about 52 million passengers and these are passengers that will benefit from the sighting of this mosque the mosque has capacity for over 4,000 worshippers and will provide world-class facilities for traveling muslims including prayer points ablution conveniences medical facilities training centers conference and event facilities and much more we are now at a crucial stage and we do need your help to complete the roofing and of course to complete the construction of the mosque. Allah has promised a place in heaven for whoever helps to build a mosque and we hope you can join us to complete the construction of this mosque and especially to complete the roofing inshallah. To donate please use the following bank accounts. Account name Nasfat Mosque Development Account or you can make a USSD payment May Almighty Allah continue to reach us all as we donate to this project. Jazakumullah Khairan. You know, in some instances, some students are already having some problem from home and their prayer will be very silent. And that is why we conduct drug tests on all our students. But when we discover that for any incoming student, we assist them to overcome their problem. And of course, they are usually very, very few, very, 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 very negligible. And uh, I can tell you that even for this session we are running now, we have not had any case of any student being sent to any rehab or even for cancer because we know that we don't, from, from the point of entrance from the security, proper check is done. And within a week of your reporting to the campus, the test, uh, drug test is conducted. And so because of that, but you keep on monitoring them, but we don't have any problem with the drug issue or bad behavior. But we also, because we don't allow cultism, being a religious, uh, faith-inspired institution, cultism or whatever, so we take care of uh, that and we have no problem with that at all. So indeed, it is um, a trend in universities in Nigeria to do drug tests on their students. So I'm glad that Fanto University is not a an exception yes, in yeah. this regard. Yeah, for you, sir. So, sir, um, what edge do you think your students would have over some other student, over students of other universities? Well, I've just mentioned to you some of the collaborative efforts of MOU we've had with some local and foreign, well, the local ones, for example, now, Nai University in Abuja, there is one. There is this uh, Air Force Institute of Technology uh, in Kaduna, there. And we are going to we are going to what to call the program in logistics and procurement, the first in the Nigerian University system, a World Bank sponsored program. Okay. And Fountain University is taking advantage of that now in collaboration with AFIT and uh, Abadu University. So it's something. Also, we uh, th there is this industrial development center in Oshobo. There, you'll be surprised. I, I would recommend anybody who comes to Oshobo to visit. The place. It's a massive federal government establishment rotting away. Really? So when we got there, we see that that place can produce the, all the shoes and bags the Nigerian school system will require. Wow. With Italian, everything there. So what we now do is, is to take advantage of some of these workshops. We have about six or seven of them now. So all our students now, compulsorily for a year, they are supposed to enroll for a, 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 for a course on entrepreneurship at that center and other places that we have uh, mapped out for them. So that is one advantage. Secondly, we are also trying to take advantage of some of these foundations. For example, Faith Foundation, uh, uh, Rose of Sharon, something. So this, I think we are just working on But The one we have actually established now is the IDC thing. And of course, there are some other uh, locally established something. In Iwo, for example, there is a multi-billion Naira industry in Iwo town that even people in Russia never knew about it. We discovered it. And uh, it's a great source that has a lot of investment, export something to all, a, a number, several parts of uh, West Africa. And it's a very, it's a very multi, I, am, I was surprised when I got there, that's this kind of thing. So it's there. So we're also trying to have a training platform for our students to go there so they can also establish. And just last week, we had this competition for our students. All final year, uh, yeah, 300 and foreign level students. We ask, we task them as part of a course that look, go and design a business plan with a budget. We put them into groups. So at the end of we had 21 groups of students. Each of them, we are, then we organized a competition for them. 
and we included those of them who had actually left the university to be part of the judges. So we were able to get people with business plan, students who are actually, and they know what to do even after finishing their program. So this is a kind of thing that we, we are not relying only on the academics, but also on what you can do with skills and your innovation yeah. after you yourself, regardless of the course of study. Thirteen years in the journey and still counting thousands of products from different fields across industries produced in a serene and conducive environment. Here, there is a connection that makes people move and think differently. Where the all-nighters, the knowledge seekers, and the go-getters gather. Who are we? We are a family born by a common idea that is changing the world. We are Fountain University. We lead and others follow. And room now for 2020-2021 graduate and postgraduate admissions into College of Natural and Applied Sciences, College of Management and Social Sciences, as well as College of Basic Medical Health Sciences and College of Law through UTME, MBAIS, JUPEP, and Direct Entry. For further inquiries, visit www.fuo.edu.ng or call 0803-114-5929 or 0803-706-3960. Fountain University. Faith, knowledge, and service. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, is there any provision for, for example, those students that uh, did excellently well, you know, in the project that were given, to empower them or link them to um, banks, you know, where they can project the, the, the plans as MSMEs? Yes, that's how I've just said now that, okay, we uh, try to have some foundation, like faith foundation, like uh, Rose and some others, uh, of course. Uh, establishment so that they can be fully established even after their they will even know what they want to do after their course so professor where do you want the university to be in the next five years yes we want to consolidate on what we have achieved so far that is very important we also want this uh, platform to appeal to all those out there who value education as a true legacy to come on board assist with infrastructure. And I can tell you that even the owner of IFE actually came on board to assist us to get all these new programs. That's to tell you that not to, we are not only calling on Muslims. Anybody, any human, any, anyone who believes in development of human capital should come on board for regardless of your faith, regardless of your social affiliation. Thank you very much. Professor, I really appreciate my time with you in the studio today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being on this program. Thank and you. I'm sure our viewers at home have enjoyed your stay with us today. Thank you very much. This is where we will draw the curtain on this program and episode of Eternal Bliss today. Until I come your way again on another episode, I say, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.